is a serious defense, national security, and air safety issue here. Testigo de tres vuelos de naves de otros mundos. Sam غريبة مشعة تسقط في أماكن مختلفة على سطح الكوكب. Some believe to raise the possibility that it was sent intentionally by aliens. الوضع ما زال مجنونا وهذا ما يسير في الوقت. Where have you been? What? Just having my coffee. Ten seconds till contact. Did we charge the bot? Because this isn't working. There seems to be an interference coming from the object on different frequencies, rendering equipment useless when we approach it. We are scanners are showing 18 millisieverts per hour of radiation and a lot of magnetic disturbance. Well, looks like we're gonna have to go retrieve it manually. Are you serious? Hey, hold on. 18 millisieverts per hour, Mo. And you still want to hang out here? Try not to kill yourself. Your little adventure didn't go as planned. Okay, what happened? It seems that a non nuclear EMP exceeding 80,000 millijoules per meter cubed has affected the power grid. I have partially restored communications with Master Institute. Okay, I'm almost there. Okay, I have diverted the reserve power from Master Institute. You have 70,500 megawatts an hour of clean energy. You are set on power. I will continue working with the main power grid. Can you hear me? Yes, Mo. Mark and Sultan's comms are restored as well. Prep the clean room and the med team. We have the sample and Vikram is... It seems that we lost communications again, but they are almost here. What happened? An energy burst emerged as Vikram was retrieving the sample. He was fine at first. But as soon as we got back into the vehicle, he started shouting in pain and fainted. And now he has glowing skin. I have alerted all our department's lab crews and the sample is being sent for analysis. Keep an eye on Vikram. I'll go follow up on the analysis. Guys, I think I got something. Join me in the control room. I need to show you this. Kukai, run a full interference diagnostic of the medical scanners. I want to know where this is coming from. The equipment diagnostic system shows no abnormalities. The pulses seem to be emitted from whatever is inside Vikram's body. So what you got? Check this out. These pulses have a pattern. These patterns are recorded on all the crash sites with slight variations. Our satellites are picking up a signal with similar frequency coming from the Corona Borealis void. They're communicating? I think, I think I got something. I want to try this. Sorry, Vikram. What did you do? Kuka, did you notice that? Yes. The pattern is quite simple. It is easily reversible. I know what to do. Mark, set up the aerospace lab and prep the cube satellites. What are you thinking? Just start with this for now. I'll update you. Kuka and Sultan, keep working on reversing the signal. I will contact our petroleum engineers to synthesize RP-1 to fuel the shuttle for takeoff. So you want to call these objects away? Are you sure this is going to work? Well, this is our best standing theory so far. If this works, we save Vikram and the world. Hi, Aman. I need a favor. It's a long shot, but that's all we've got for now. Does it have anything to do with what's happening? The fate of the planet depends on it, man. Tell me, what do you need? 
I need you to synthesize enough RP-1 to get the shuttle to escape gravity. When do you need it? Yesterday, man. Okay, okay, I'll contact our chemical engineers to start prepping. Guys, we need extraction up to 85% to fill in the shuttle. We need to use the enhancer recovery technique. Are you sure we're gonna do this? The risk is too high. We have no other choice. Okay, we're ready. This is almost done. Hope you figure out a way to get the CubeSat to the shuttle. I can help with that. We can use one of the drones from the robotics department to deliver the payload to the shuttle. Sounds good. Kukai, prep the drone and upload the signal generating algorithm. The CubeSat is ready. Guys, we've sent the RB1 to the shuttle. I hope it's enough. Sultan, Sultan, Habib Sultan, would you care to join us? 